Time now for our second midday forum and joining us is financial professional Brett Schunkweiler. And today we're going to be talking about some New Year's resolutions and setting goals and specifically setting clear goals when it comes to our money management. So kick us off. Yeah, so, you know, a lot of times throughout the year people are like, oh, I want to lose weight, I want to diet, I want to make myself look better. But, you know, financially people have goals as well. So the top three goals a lot of times are I want to save more money, I want to spend less money, or I want to pay down debt. So it's like, oh, that's fantastic, those are your goals, but how do we accomplish that? So, you know, step one is a lot of times you need a budget to be able to accomplish that. Know sure. where your money's going to make sure that you can help accomplish those goals. So on my website, shunkweilerfinancial.com, I actually have a budget worksheet that people can print off and use to help them try to accomplish those. Very nice. I know it is interesting. My wife and I, we've followed a little budget. And it's like you look at groceries or you look at how much money you spent on food or eating out. It's like, there's just two of us. We don't have kids yet. <laughs> how, how are we spending this much money? So it is interesting to kind of really follow the dollar. Yeah. So, you know, one thing in following the dollar, you need to uh, set a goal. And right away, your goal is going to needs to be attainable, such as do I need to set a percentage or do I need to set a dollar amount? Because you can't just say, oh, I'd like to save. Well, fantastic. Well, the, everybody wants to save or everybody wants to save more. But and you say, I want to save $100 a month more. Okay, well, then you need to go in you know, and set up a meeting with a financial advisor and save $100 a month. Or you can go into your HR department and say, I'm going to increase from 4% to 6%. In my 401k, you need to do attainable goals that you can actually see. There you go. And you say, we need to know where to start. Yep. Because there's so many different, where, like you said, you want to save money but where to focus and where's the first area that most people overspend? Overspend uh, a lot of times on the credit card. Sure. Um, but uh, you need to set a goal, you need to be prepared because guess what, you know, for instance, things pop up that you don't expect. This last month in my own household, we had our dryer rake. Well, that's not an expense that you have to pay for all the time. A year ago, our washer broke. So you wanna have roughly three to six months of gross annual earned income saved back you also need to be accountable. So you can say, all right, fantastic, I set this goal, but who's holding you to this goal? So every single month, you might wanna sit down with your spouse and say, all right, you know, the first of the month, let's look and see how we actually did this last month. And then uh, be realistic would be the last thing. So a lot of people say, all right, well, I am going out to eat five days a week for lunch. Let's cut it back to four. Now, don't try to cut cold turkey, but you can say, all right, I want to cut it back to four, maybe go a few months, and then if you do well there, cut it back, you know, by a day and a day, and maybe keep one just to reward yourself. There you go. I like that, reviewing each month and kind of seeing and reevaluate your goals. Thank yep. you for joining us. You're welcome. And we'll be right back. You're watching Channel 8 Eyewitness News Midday.